Now, not everyone is necessarily going to like what they see in this video, but while I show you the kind of problem I encountered, I'm also going to talk about why that problem exists and more importantly, the solution to that problem. And I will say from the outset, I'm neither a Traxxas fan nor an Armour fan, just a fan of good RC cars. So, how fast is the Traxxas rally stuck out the box on the stock pinion? Well, I'll tell you right now, be prepared for a shock because it is maybe not what you were going to be expecting, certainly not quite what I was going to be expecting out of the car. But don't shoot the messenger, the GPS doesn't lie. In this video, you're going to see it tested on a fully charged 2S LiPo pack. I have checked the car is not in training mode. It is in a full sport mode, so we have got a full power on air. So watch the GPS speed test. Don't shoot the messenger, because the messenger is going to explain why the speed of this car is what it is in this video, and exactly what I'm going to do to increase it by a little and then quite a lot. So... Let's get straight down the test track and see just how fast the Traxxas Rally is. But there is a shot coming. So, how fast is the Traxxas Rally on 2S? Well, let's go find out. Quick run up and down while it's nice and quiet. And that's pigged out. I don't expect it to be hugely fast on here. I'm thinking that's probably 18, 20 miles an hour actually. Ooh. Now, they quote, th I think about 30 with this, but that's with the optional speed pinion on there. So it's not gonna win any speed awards today, but gives me a benchmark. Have a guess. <laughs> 15 miles an hour. A little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. As they say, don't shoot the messenger. The speed on the GPS is what it is on the day. Now, down to the explanation as to why that speed was just 15 miles an hour on the GPS. And by the way, I don't hide anything on this channel. I'm not gonna go and fit the speed gearing on the car and make it faster straight out the box just to deceive people. So the speed is what it is. I like to think you get the real deal on this channel and hide stuff away like some other people do. This car is running an 83 tooth spur, which it comes with stock out the box, but the stock pinion is just 12 teeth. The pinion to get the car to do the 30 plus miles an hour, which isn't claimed on the outside of the box, is an actual fact, is an actual fact, a 25 tooth pinion. So I've been one doubling the size of the pinion, so you would expect it to double the speed of the car. So, and fingers crossed it will. So first of all, I'm gonna fit that pinion to the car, and we're gonna go out and test it again, see if we get that magic 30 miles an hour on there. Now, now note though, on the outside of the rally box, it doesn't stay 30 plus miles an hour anywhere on there. It does in a lot of the Traxxas ones, but not on the Traxxas rally yet. Yeah. This thing is not necessarily about top speed. A lot of it, like a proper rally car, is about acceleration and handling. Anyway, my next video is gonna be showing this, running with the 25 tooth pinion on the car with the 83 tooth spur. And then I've got the optional 76 tooth spur to fit to the car. So I'm going to try that again with the 25 tooth pinion, see just how fast we get with that. Although that will be causing them to maybe to run a little bit warm because that's probably pushing it on the gearing. But the sharp rider munch, you will notice there are two pinions on the side here. That's because I needed a 25 tooth pinion with a 5mm hole on it in order to fit this 4S armour motor and ESC, which is going to be the third video on this car. And if that's caught your interest, then don't forget to subscribe because I think it's going to be quite an interesting drive with this 4S setup fitted. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.